Hey guys, this is you two here, and I just finished recording both the third episode of Red vs. Blue and uh, the third episode of MLP, uh, season seven. Uh, but anyways, this is Red vs. Blue episode four, Chorus Lessons. Um, yeah, by the way guys, I have a large variety of uh, interests, clearly. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is episode four, Chorus Lessons. Clearly, Dylan is going to chorus. Also, yeah, uh, this really helps. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. I'm going to try to remember her name. Dylan. Probably will not know. But anyways, this is 12 minutes long. And I know absolutely nothing about this episode. So yeah, I'm ready to just go for it. So let's do this, shall we? Hold on, gonna yawn and get a drink. Because I've just recorded these all in a row and I've tried to edit all of these together at once as well because I wanna get, I wanna get these done tonight. This is uh, Sunday, you know, March, uh, not March. April. April 23rd. So yeah. I'm just recording these all at once. Uh, it'll be nice to, to finally have these done and just over with and, and out of sight, out of mind, and uh, I'll upload these tomorrow. I think what I might do is I might go ahead and upload them and then I'll just like schedule the upload for tomorrow. Probably, uh, I'll probably upload these at around noon time, I think. Maybe one or two-ish. I don't know, we'll have to see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, don't know anything else. All I know is this is uh, 12 minutes long. So, a bit longer than the previous couple episodes, I think. So, yeah. Okay, thank you, Okay. So, yeah, and clearly, stuff is up, of course, because there's a big brigade. What? What are you doing? What? No, no, no. What the heck? Also, that animation is so good. Rosebud? Dark alleyway, murder investigation, blah 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 blah. Particular individuals in the general vicinity of the area in which the crime scene was alleged. Jesus Christ. What he means is, did you see anybody? No, I just found him lying there and called the police. Is he okay? Really? Did they take him to general? We're asking the questions, if you so please. Does the alleged victim have any enemies, arch enemies, nemesises, or particular people of an interesting nature to which the crime may be motivated by? Uh, no. By who? I, I don't know. Who's the attending doctor? Uh, j just a few more inquiries, if you so please, to be of grateful assistance to law enforcement investigators. You stop. You don't even sound like a cop. <laughs> doing my job, bitters. It's called Going by the Book. What book? Law and Order. But yeah, this is Go better than Palomo. Oh, gross. CSI Miami for life. He's gonna be okay, right? Can you please tell me where they took him? Or not Palomo. Crap. The other guy. Uh, Griff's guy. What am I talking about? Next of kin. Oh, the other video is done. No, no, no. He's not dead. The alleged victim. Palomo is the crazy, the silly one. Alleged posterior. He means his butt. Yeah. The butt. And Jensen. Charlie, yeah, Jensen. Establishing a perimeter. I just want to be included. So. Oh, fine. is his name actually like but Charlie? <laughs> Something about this case just doesn't sit quite Charlie right. Palamo? It all feels rather cheeky. Palamo. Oh. <laughs> this this music. General Doyle. I can see the headlines already. Journalists assaulted on chorus. And Emily! Dr. Gray, I was hoping to speak with you. Off the record, as you know, I'm not an official representative of chorus, Miss Andrews. You know me? I recognize you from your byline. You wrote oh. a fantastic piece about the Seward insurrection. That was huh. just ten years also, ago. Also, it's, it's, it's awesome to see these guys again. I'm not here about the UNSC or whatever they're planning with chorus. I'm here about the Reds and Blues. You've read about their attacks in the press? Of course! Those criminals have caused substantial damage to our planet. Or yeah. if I told you those criminals are not the reds and blues you know. Oh, of course not, sweetheart. Yeah, of course when not. I said criminals, I wasn't referring to the reds and the blues. 
I was referring to you. Beg pardon? Oh. You in the press by continuing to insinuate that those Feels a bad man. A baseless accusation the UNSC was quick to overreact to. But I'm sure invasions make for a great news day. I don't want an invasion. I can help Chorus by finding the real reds and blues. But Kimball won't talk to me. I can't get within a mile of her. The president refuses to be interviewed. Yes. Makes so sense. you shoot your cameraman. What? He was shot, but... The clotting present in the patient's posterior places the time of attack approximately five minutes after your call to the police. Wow. That's a very fast reporting, Miss Andrews. I... Look, I needed to talk to you. Huh? <laughs> Please, help me get to Kimball. Oh! I assumed you assaulted your cameraman to stir up cheap headlines. But instead, you flatter me. You're a little bit crazy, aren't you? I like that. <laughs> that, that she likes well, crazy. President Kimball is fighting to reopen peace talks with the UNSC. Oh, interesting. Well, UNSC's diplomat. Ooh, are you going to shoot them too? Uh, no more shooting. Wow. I have connections at the network. Oh, very well. The diplomat is Alfred Packard. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just keep me off the record. <laughs> thank you for the tip. For fixing up my partner. <laughs> if you think he'll still be your partner after this, then you really are. Eh, crazy. probably I not. I am prepared to deal with the consequences. I don't know. Consequences don't always take the shape we expect them to, do they? Yeah, she's very like crazy for doing that. Ooh, she, really just wanted, <laughs> she really just wanted uh, to get in. Very interesting. Huh. Alfred Picard. Okay. Alder James. Ahoy, ahoy, Interstellar Daily. James Adler speaking. Hi, James. Dylan! You're alive. Where are you? I've been worried sick. Are you okay? Is everything okay? I'm still on the story. Carlos is going to be livid. He's talking about criminal charges. You need to get back here. I need Jeez. To get here, James. Between us, and no one else can know. Oh, oh. That's why you're calling. No, hi, honey. How are the cats? I'm sorry. Huh. It's urgent. So, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say they're married. Talk about that later. Oh. Without a word, what am I supposed? Mmm. Okay. I don't know. Everything is just a mess, and I needed some time to think. And right now, I really need that favor. You're killing me. Ha! <laughs> what is it? Alfred Packard, the UNSC diplomat assigned to Chorus. I need his full file from the paper's database. I think I recognize his name from the Saruman leak last year, so throw that in too. Got it. I'll send you what I find. Okay. I promise we'll talk when I get back. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Ha <laughs> Right. Interesting. I like this. This backstory is really nice. President Kimball, thank you for agreeing to speak with me. I have some questions. I'm sure you do. <laughs> but you're going to have to answer mine first, Miss Andrews. How did you convince Packard to reopen our peace talks? Packard's corrupt. He's smart enough to pay off the right people, but not smart enough she, to uh, never but... change a hooker. Especially given his... Interest. She's using a little an expose, different voice for this. Off his hard line with you instead. It's temporary. Understood. But the respite has brought us hope nonetheless. Your real hope is with the reds and blues. If they resurface and are proven innocent, then Chorus is saved. You didn't come here to advise me, Miss Andrews. No. You want something. Yep. I want them. Well, as I've said time and time again, I don't know where they are. With all due respect... I don't buy that. Yeah, I don't respect, believe that. <laughs> I don't care. You want the reds and blues, and I want to know why. So you're going to explain your intentions to me before this conversation continues. Right. But believe me when I say, I'll know if you're lying. Mmm. Fine. What do you want with the reds and blues? I want to talk to them. Why? To get the facts. That's not good enough. <laughs> Be specific. People are quick to jump to conclusions. Mm -hmm. They see something or hear something and fit it into a preconceived emotional box. The Reds and Blues are terrorists. It's up to people like me to find the buried truth and expose the real facts. Because truth and fact are the currency of the galaxy. It's how wars are bought and invasions it's, it's are justified and leaders are elected. Hard to, uh... I want facts. 
facts are found at the source. It's hard to tell the truth in the media. In That's the... one reason. The other is that I don't there's think there's few like her. Really over and I need to see how it ends. No. If you won't help me, I will find them anyway. Of that there is no question. Santa? Come again? Oh, Santa. Oh, hello. Santa. Anything she's not saying I should know about? Mm, nothing of note. Would you like to know what she's afraid of? <laughs> <laughs> it's current. Nice. Alien AI construct. Neat trick. And a very close friend. I think we may have found our messenger. So it would seem. What's going on? What messenger? We received hmm. something meant for the reds and blues. A message. We can't trace its origin, and we can't safely deliver it to them with the UNSC hanging over our heads. Oh, really? Yes, we require a herald. So you do know where they are. The Reds and Blues saved us. Oh, yeah? We them everything. So when they told so they did do it. Done, that they were finished with all of this, that they just wanted to be left alone, I did my best to repay our debt. Oh, I wow. I regret what I'm about to tell you. So they literally just wanted to be left alone. Wow. You'll be able to hitch a ride home from here. Uh, when you get back, just tell Carlos what happened. You'll be compensated. So that's it? You're firing me? I can't come along? How can you say that? I shot you? I know. I can't wait to tell my friends. Oh my, my god. Friends so cool. What the heck? So you're not upset. Oh hell no! That was some of course not. Double dedication on your part. <laughs> respect. Nice. You have to know, we're rogue. No budget, no backing, no intern credit, nope. no turning back. I'm in. You got awesome. Checks. I'll give you that. Yeah, that, and as soon as I get back, my student loans kick in. <laughs> wow. Ah, I guess he is as crazy as her after all. Uh, it's 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 so time. awesome to see all of them again. Oh, this is so cool. We're actually gonna see him, I think. Where are they? This is interesting, just by first looks. I just look like, looks like they're going all, um, It's like they're growing all Luke Skywalker. Living up in the mountains. <laughs> From episode 7. <laughs> Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> but but hey, that's, that's, that's not that big of a deal. Um, you do see Luke in episode 7. <laughs> not a lot, but yeah. Oh, hello! This really is reminding me of episode 7. <laughs> like, seriously. No, no th that can't be what they were referencing. Oh my god, no. I was just kidding. <laughs> That is exactly what they were referencing. Oh my god. I... <laughs> I can't believe I got that. Oh my god. Now that is awesome. <laughs> oh no, as much as I like fan service, we're not going to be watching fan service. Oh. Oh man, that was priceless. I didn't think I would actually call it. Like, seriously. Oh my god. That was that was a really good episode. That might be my favorite so far. Um Yeah, you just like It was very interesting hearing all of that. Um and seeing 
what exactly, you know, oh, whoops, whoopsie daisy. Uh, but yeah. Like, so Dylan basically got in contact with her, her husband. And, well, first off, she shot her, her, <laughs> her assistant in order to get into the uh, hospital. She didn't find any, any information that she wanted. She couldn't find Kimball. Kimball would not talk to her. So she went, she asked her husband, um, and then she worked with them to finally get clearance to talk to Kimball. Um, talk to Kimball. <clears throat> and then Kimball, with Santa, basically told them where the reds and blues were. That they just wanted to be left alone. That's crazy. And, it, and, and we know that they did it. That they ended up actually being able to do it. Uh, they stopped. They stopped Hargrove. So that's really cool. And then, um... <laughs> they did, uh... Did the episode 7 spoof. Oh my god, that was that was so funny. I... I was just joking. Like, Seriously. Is I just thought, oh, an island off in the middle of nowhere where nobody would find them. And they just wanted to be left alone, secluded. <laughs> and then she did the scene. She, like, held out the thing. <laughs> that was so funny. Score, score for me. That was, that was very entertaining. I'm, I'm, man. That was good stuff, good stuff. I, I, I really enjoyed that episode. Probably my favorite so far. That's so interesting. Seeing all those characters again, seeing Palamo and Palamo. Oh god, I can't I'm bad at pronunciation. Jensen. Bitters. All of them. I couldn't remember um uh Griff's uh you know, Griff's little training dealio's name anyways that was that hope you guys enjoyed it i know i did and i'll see you guys next time